أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم This uh, video based lecture is about introduction to biostatistic but that is a short lecture and specifically designed uh, for those students who are studying uh, physiotherapy because these lectures are being taught in Khyber Medical University physiotherapy department so it would help a lot to those who are studying physiotherapy so let me share you the slides and then we will be discussing inshallah one by one <clears throat> so what is biostatistic that is part a the science of data i have already discussed this a collection information organization summarization analysis and then interpreting but these two are extra presenting in the form of bar chart pie chart uh, frequency distribution table and so on and then drawing the conclusion whatever you do whatever you write you have to conclude at the end so a uh, statistic also talks about the conclusion if your data is related to biological or medical sciences this is called a biostatistic biostatistic refer to the recorded data such as number of traffic accident size of enrollment number of patient visiting a clinic number of traffic accidents how many traffic accidents occur on a particular date on a particular day so the number about 10 accident 20 accident 30 accident that is the number of traffic accidents so that is a statistic size of enrollment how many students got enrollment or admission in a particular institute or a university so the number of students they have got admission in the university that is a statistic or patients visiting a clinic 50 patient 100 patients how many patients are visiting a particular clinic that is also statistic the characteristic calculated for a data set for example average household size characteristic for a data set for example average household size for it in a particular family there are 10 people five people or four people that makes the size of that house prevalence of smoking for example 10% of pakistani population smoke 20% 15% so that is a statistic infant mortality rate for example in our country the infant mortality rate is for example 74 out of 1000 means out of 1000 uh, infant 74 die Uh, in a year types of statistics statistic as subject may be divided into two descriptive statistic and inferential statistic descriptive statistic are those statistic which describe your sample for example mean median standard deviation quartile deviation and so on that you calculate from a sample and that describe your sample that is called descriptive statistic inferential statistic when you use these descriptive statistic for example mean standard deviation and then put in the formula for advanced statistic and then from the result you can you generalize those information on the study pop the, the population from which you have taken your sample that is called inferential statistic so it basically contain hypothesis testing correlation prediction and so on estimation so descriptive statistic consists of a collection organization summarization presentation of data for example census inferential statistic consists of generalizing from sample to population hypothesis testing determining relationship among variables and making predictions population versus sample what is the difference between population and a sample population the set of all measurement of interest to the investigator it also depends which segment of the population are you addressing that would be your population for example if i am interested in the diseases and the prevalence of the diseases in new nate so my population will be all new nates if i am interested in the five my population will be under five if i am interested uh, in the individual the adult individual from 21 to 45 years my population will be all those individual or adults who are from 21 to 45 years of age and the sample whenever you take a fraction of this population that is called a, a sample that is a subset of all measurements selected from the population a random sample is a good representative of the population we will be discussing random sampling and systematic random sampling when we do the sampling technique so this is the bigger the whole population and it's a small fraction 
of this population is your sample. Examples of monthly income of household in Pakistan, that is population, because you are measuring, you are studying the entire population. Household in Karachi were death of at least one family member in past one year. So how many families are there who have at least one death of at least one family? They may be in lakhs. They may be in lakhs. Number of TB patients in Pakistan, how many patients are there? Some are, uh, some have been reported and some have not been reported. So you cannot say how many uh, uh, people are there with TB. So countless people are there. And if it is, uh, uh, you know, counted, and they are in lakes, you cannot study the lakes of population. A survey of 1,000 households taken from all parts of Pakistan to assess their monthly income. In the previous slide, monthly income of all, all households in Pakistan and here of 1,000. So 1,000 is a sample. A survey of 500 households conducted to Karachi to know who have death of at least. There was no number mentioned in the population, but here, it is 500, a sample of 500, so it is a sample. TB 2,500 patient, in the previous slide, there was, there was no number of patient, but here 2,500 patient, which is a small fraction of all the patient with TB, so that is a sample. Observation, and statistic observation is numerically recording of information on the variables. Whether it is physical measurements such as height and weight, that is your observation. A classification of data, for example, mild, moderate, and severe, that is a classification or even answer to a question, yes and no. For example, if you ask somebody, do you smoke? And he can answer in yes and no. So that is also your observation. Thank you very much. So that was the first part of introduction to the biostatistic. Uh, and inshallah, we will be doing uh, all the components or topics of the biostatistic in the forthcoming lecture. Thank you very much.